theater in the round. It's the Songwriters Circle, and we've got some great songwriters here tonight. You've heard all their music uh, over the years, I'm sure, and they're going to tell you a few of the stories behind the music, kind of bounce the music off each other. So now, if you will, welcome to Festival by the Sea. You know him from Platinum Blonde, Kenny McLean. Also from Glass Tiger, Alan Frew. Matt Minglewood. David Wilcox. Brent Mason and St. John's own Ken Tobias. Welcome them, ladies and gentlemen. He gets a rip-roaring cheer, and we get upstaged by the 50-50 draw, boys. How's everybody doing tonight? All right? One, two, three. Here we are, eh? Good old St. John. Hello, St. John. How are you? You say fine. <laughs> Good. Good. Over to you, Brent. What's that? Hell Over I? to you, buddy. Over to me. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, just uh, thrilled to be here tonight with uh, such an assembly of talent. So it's great to be here uh, in St. John on actually a sunny day, which is uh, a bizarre circumstance in and of itself. Check one, two, test. Yeah. So we have Alan. No, no I'm Kenny. No, you're Kenny. No. Oh, <laughs> Kenny. thanks very much. I'm Kenny. <laughs> thanks very much. I'm not I'm from Kenny. here. Okay, okay. We have Kenny. No, I'm Kenny. They told me. He's Alan. Want... Yes, he's that Alan. That guy's Alan. David. That's Ken David. Tobias. That's David. David. <laughs> That's David Wilcox over there. David Wilcox. And this is George Bush. George Bush. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Kenny <laughs> Tobias, ladies and gentlemen. No. Thank you. Just Thank you kidding much. you, Brad. Don't worry about it. No worries. Just kidding you. No, well, I'm. I... Sorry, go, go ahead, Kenny. Kenny. I'm Kenny McLean. Okay, folks, I'm Kenny McLean. This guy over here, you probably don't know too well, Matt Minglewood. One of my favorite guitar students, David Wilcox. The lovely, the handsome, brand new father of a gorgeous little baby girl, Alan Frew. And you know these guys. Yes, uh, Alan Frew's uh, uh, new daughter, a little sweet. How'd you say, my wee one? Uh, my wee baby. Evan. Her name is Evan. Her name's Evan. Evan. She's, uh, she's about a week old. Oh. <laughs> Fantastic. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Wonderful. Actually, Wonderful. when uh, I called Alan, uh, I was asked if I could get a call to Alan to do the show with us, and uh, I said, yeah, yeah, I can call Alan. And he says, I'm not sure, I'm having the bairn, I'm having the baby, at exactly the same time. I says, well, Alan, the money you're making, you can buy the crib, you can buy a wee car for this sweet 16-year-old girl when she's 16, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so that's why he's here. The money he's making tonight, he's buying a wee car. And <laughs> yeah, we need uh, a little power for Alan here. I'm going to make sure we're all up and running here. Are you getting that? I should tell you, I... I was really proud of myself today. I got up two and a half hours ahead of my flight. I was up at 5.45 a.m. I got to Toronto Airport. I was really pleased and proud of myself. And then I remembered I'd left my guitar in the living room. <laughs> so we rented this one. And now I'm and not it doesn't work. It's got rental and it doesn't right work. on the Take it back. Actually. 57 bucks down the drain. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody play some music. Don't worry about it. Okay, I just want to tell you what, Alan. Why don't, if we need, uh, we can swap your guitar. Borrow, I'll borrow a guitar if I have to. Yeah, whatever. We can oh, do we that. Go. So there you go. Oh, there you go. He's on. He's hooked. He's hooked yeah. up. Matt, I think since you're the uh, oldest guy in the band, <laughs> <laughs> you should start off. Not that you're the most famous, and that you're most. You've probably written more songs than all of us put together. 
But the fact that you're older than everybody, what, you're turning, what, 75 this week? Next week. Oh, you're looking for <laughs> That's a good, day. man. How do you get that hair color? It's like, you, is it that uh, men, oh, men's only stuff? Huh? It's all mine. It's all yours? <laughs> How do you get yours? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I paid a lot of money What's for this, What's left man. of it is, is, <laughs> is my own color. What's left of it? Because you were going to have a lot of fun tonight. I wanted to say that just before we, uh, we started that... Uh, Myself, I want to say thank you to St. John for, uh, I'm repatriated now, I moved back to St. John, and uh, I'm one of your you. sons who moved on and went to, uh, got to all the way to Hollywood, and uh, met all these fine people on the road, and uh, I want you to know that they're all fine musicians and fine songwriters, and tonight we're going to tell some stories. Uh, I know that Matt, um, we're going to probably start with you, Matt, because you, I was Are reading in your biography. <laughs> that, uh, that you are on the road doing an acoustic set called The Story, is that right? Yes. Can we, maybe you could take over and tell us a little bit about it. Stories maybe I shouldn't tell. Well, you uh, can tell those too. We're well, already... Actually, uh, I, I'm going to do new songs tonight because I, I wrote a bunch of new ones for, uh, for this thing called The Story, and I'm doing a, a working on a CD of acoustic stuff. Yeah, man. So anyway, um, uh, this one uh, kind of... Well, it has to do with... A, I know in my life I've seen a lot of people that went left when they should have went right yeah. and had dire consequences and uh, little, little things that happen in life that change you forever for the good or the bad. Uh, I'll tell you a funny story about that. When my father, uh, when I went on the road with a band, my father wasn't real happy about that. Yeah. Before that, I'd been an electrician and I, I worked uh, on the old ferries going to Newfoundland, those big uh, ferries. And I was living up in Fredericton with the band, and he called up and he said, I got you a job on the Patrick Morris, which was a train-carrying ferry. And I hated to tell my father no, you know. And uh, I kind of remembered, uh, I, I just heard this one the other day, Kenny, uh, uh, Big Dave McLean from Winnipeg said, when I told my father, I said, Dad, when I grow up, I'm going to be a musician. He said, son, you can't do both. <laughs> Anyway, that's Big Dave. <laughs> you can't do both. But anyway, uh, he wanted me to, he said, I got your job as a second electrician or something, or the, it may not be the fifth electrician on the Patrick Moores. And I had to tell him no, and because and, uh, I'm into this music business. And uh, uh, about a week later, when I would have been on the Patrick Moores, it, it sunk. <laughs> 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 it sunk with seven, uh, they had a skeleton crew of people out looking for a couple of fishing boats that went down. And I would have been on that boat, and being the fifth or sixth electrician, you're not going to be up on the top decks. <laughs> you're down in the engine room somewhere. So anyway, and, and now being as Alan's a, a father, uh, uh, and I'm a grandfather, I think about, you know, I almost feel like there was a guardian angel that kind of looks over you, and I, I kind of hope there is especially for uh, my kids and on all yours too. This is called uh, Brush by the Wings of an Angel. And I'm going to get my good friend David Wilcox to, uh, he, he's going to listen to this and in the middle of it, he's going to know it all and he's going to play. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos El Nino of Maria Sanchez from Sonora, Mexico. He's parked at an LA street corner, and there's two ways he can go. To the Wesley Three Hombres, waiting to gun him down. He drove east and he left that town. He was brushed by the wings of an angel. A young girl full of life and love on a New York street corner. She's leaving home. She had words with her mother, things were said that cut her right to the bone. Across the street waits a man, he's full of sexual rage. She went 
back to mom and they turned that page she was brushed by the wings of an angel well some live some The sky turns black and tears fall down as rain. Little earthbound angels need a guiding hand, the hand of God or the hand of man or the wind from the wings of an angel. Two kids from the suburbs with too much time on their hands. Well, yeah, I gotta give it up for David. There's two kids from the suburbs with too much time on their hands, and they're looking for a thrill. They head down to East Hastings, Vancouver, looking for a guy named One Eyed Phil. Pass by the blue door, they stare at the crack. You walk through that door, boys, you don't ever come back. They were brushed by the wings of an angel. Tears fall down as rain. Little earthbound angels, they need a guiding hand. The hand of God or the hand of man or the wind. From the wings of an angel. Brushed by the wind. Of a guardian angel, may you be brushed by the wings of an angel. Woo! Woo! All right. Thank yeah. you very much. Nice going. Absolutely. Thank you. David Wilcox on the guitar there, eh? I just got to say one thing, Matt. I was only kidding about the, the old guy thing, you know, because I think I'm older than you. I'm just joking, you know? I think you might have been right, uh, Kenny. I think you were right. Uh, maybe I was Ken Tobias might have me uh, by a day. I don't know. I think I'm probably the oldest guy on the stage. But, you know, I look the youngest, though. Yes, the youngest. Is hot. You hot, baby. You just hot. Just kidding, just kidding. You don't uh, look a day over a year older than you are. That I am, that's right. <laughs> I wanted to say that David Wilcox, I was reading a, an article the other day oh, oh. By, by the name of the Fish Grikowski, or there's a name for you anyway, uh, from the Edmondson <laughs> Sun, and he said that David Wilcox was the bald mutant from hell. Oh. 
Now, <laughs> well, does he look like the bald mutant from hell to you? Actually, I'm originally from Montreal. Originally from Montreal, yeah, you know. <laughs> All the rest that is qualifies. true. Well, I could do it. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So what have you been doing lately? What's, uh, what are you going to well, play for us? Well, I've been uh, playing my acoustic guitar a lot. And uh, since this is uh, about um, uh, songwriting tonight in a way, I've written maybe one or two songs about songwriting. If it's okay, I'd like to play one song about songwriting a little bit. Yeah, man, excellent, great. One night when I was a teenager, there was a knock on our door. It was an old man, a poor man. He, looked, he was down on his luck, you know. My mother went to the door, and the old man said to her, would you like to buy a song? And she gave him some money, and the old man went away. And after he'd left, I, I took the sheet of paper he'd given her. And I, I must confess, and I'm ashamed of it, that I made fun of the song, you know, that the old man had left and that my mother had bought from him. I read the rhymes out loud, and I laughed at it. He had songs to sell. Won't you listen? He had songs to sell. Please give me a chance. I'm hungry and I need your help. Don't you understand? I wish you well. Here's my songs to sell. Now my mother lit into me and I'm glad that she did. She said, you know, son, here you are with a full stomach and a roof over your head. And not everybody in the world has those things. Maybe someday you'll find out. He had songs to sell. Won't you listen? He had songs to sell. Please give me a chance. I'm hungry. And I need your help. Don't you understand? I wish you well. Here's my songs to sell. Here I am in St. John, and I sure wish I could meet that old man, maybe buy him a meal. We could sit down together and talk, maybe swap a song or two like we're doing tonight. And I know exactly how my song would go. I've got songs to sell. Won't you listen? I've got songs to sell. Please give me a chance. I've got stories that I need to tell. Don't you understand? I wish you well. Here's my songs to sell. I'll buy that. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> and you As know, a matter of fact, I think Kenny was that old man. I was man. the old guy, man. I was the guy. I, I thought I recognized you, man. And you know what, man? Your mother was beautiful, man. She was. <laughs> she was. Okay. And I won't go any further, ladies. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, yes. That's a beautiful... Uh, that actually, was Actually, David's little... Song segues beautifully. Absolutely. Oh, it's Absolutely. gorgeous. And it was um, Absolutely. Absolutely. Alan Frew. My God, everybody knows Alan Frew. Yeah. Mm. Last Tiger. Lots of hits. I have to tell you that I first met Alan when uh, he was doing. A, Alan's done a lot of work for the Camp Trillium children, uh, which are cancer kids, uh, and uh, you work out of Hamilton and out of Oakville. And uh, I was asked to do the, the Alan uh, Frew and Friends show. To, uh, to sing some songs for a thing. And I mean, it was a great show, lots of fun. 
Yeah. But uh, you've done a lot of that work. Uh, over I've your worked. Life. Uh, I've worked with children's charities for oh god, t 20 years. Um, no wonder you're raising a good money for kids. No wonder you're <laughs> such a good father, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, uh, I'm going to I'm going to play a, a song that I was kind of adopted by the East Coast because it's a song called My Town. And uh, was Great a, song. it was a big song for Glass Tiger. Yeah. And Rod Stewart and I sang it as, as a duet, right? But the reason uh, David made me, there's a very interesting story behind the song. We, we were in Los Angeles and I was getting very frustrated because being from Scotland, uh, it was difficult to find backup singers. <laughs> and they were they were bringing all. So you got Rod Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean like your regular backup singers, right? <laughs> and they were bringing all these American singers in, and they were good singers, but it, it just wasn't working. And I was getting very frustrated, so I thought I'm going to go for a refreshment yeah, yeah. or two. And when I come back, I'll I'll feel better. So on the way back, the reason uh, David made me think of this, there was a street person outside the studio. Guy, really down and out, obviously hadn't washed in a long time. But he had a sign around his neck and it said, I will sing for food. Only in Los Angeles, right? Oh my God. I will <laughs> sing for food. So I went up to him and I said, Rod. <laughs> and Unbelievable. Uh, he's, he's really famous now. <laughs> Bastard won't even return a call. <laughs> when I think of you, Scotia, there's a love that just bleeds in my heart. In my childhood days, we went our different ways, but you knew that we'd never part. Now I'm all alone, and you're calling me home. You knew I loved Tell me when that breeze is blowing, taking me home to my town. Oh, so when I think of you, Scotia, there's a magic that fills the air. We are the downtown boys Making all that noise We live like we just don't care So we drank our fill For king and country To the last soldier bed Burlington Bay You're in my heart forever I want to drown in the story Tell me when that breeze is blowing, taking me home to my town. Oh, taking me home to my town. You make me all I will ever be. Taking me home to 
Thank you very much. Too much. Excellent. Pretty there, right, man? Platinum Blonde and elsewhere from also another Scottish boy. Uh, you guys are both born in Scotland, weren't you? Actually, we're actually, over here later. We're actually twins, but actually we, twins. We're, we, don't, we don't talk to each we other anymore. We got separated at birth, thank Christ. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do for us, man? Uh, well, this song only has three chords also. <laughs> We're ready. <laughs> um, I, well, I'm going to start off with a song that uh, it was my, uh, only, oh, my only claim to fame, you know. Nah. Well, you know, it, uh, the funny thing about this song is that it was, it, I was nominated for Juno for this song, and I never got the Juno. Who, who got the Juno? <laughs> I was totally upset. When I came to Canada, I was 18 years old, about three or four years ago, and... Uh, <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> anyway, I'm just stressed out, okay? I've had a rough life. <laughs> Hardly. And I used to watch the Junos, you know? And every year, Anne Murray, Anne Murray, Anne Murray. Yeah, yeah. And then Glass Tiger came along. <laughs> <laughs> and I said to myself, one of these days, I am going to get myself a Juno. And I got nominated for Juno for this song. And actually, I wrote the music, and my brother in law, uh, Paul uh, wrote the lyrics, and uh, you know when you, when you write a song, as we all know, lads, you know you kind of like you write a hundred songs, and you get one that you know, oh, oh, this is, oh, 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 oh this is good, yeah, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, good, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you screw it up. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, no, just kidding. No, this is this is the the first song that I said I had in my first solo album after Platinum Blonde. And it was always a pleasure uh, working. And actually, Platinum Blonde's going back on tour again uh, on the October 15th. So uh, <laughs> lock up your mothers, girls. <laughs> lock up your mothers. <laughs> Anyways, you know. <laughs> so. <laughs> But anyways, this, this is my only song that, that actually... The funny thing is, though, this song uh, was... It, it did really well at first, you know? Like, it did really well. It was like I was beating out Burton Cummings and Alana Miles and, and Glass Tiger. And, uh, <laughs> I'm just bugging you, Alan. Well, it saved you the pain anyway. The Junos get boring after the fourth uh, and fifth uh, one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The first one's really great, but number four and five and six, they're a pain in the arse. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say now. Good, how sweet it is. But anyways, it was, it was a wonderful experience. But you know what? I, I finally had a hit song on the radio, and nobody knew it was me. <laughs> and uh, that's terrible, you know? That was terrible. But anyways, I hope you rem remember the song. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my best at doing it. Take this off. All right. And I just want to say, man, it's such an honor to be on stage with Matt Minglewood and David Wilcox and Alan Frew and Ken Tobias. Oh, Thank you. wow. And now Brett. But we don't, I don't trust him too much. <laughs> okay. You've, heard, you've, heard, you've been to my website, obviously. <laughs> okay, Alan, uh, if you can sing there. I forget the words. <laughs> How's it going? Don't look back. Give it a shot. If you can, I'll, if you remember. I'll follow you if, if, I you can. if you can. Promise the world to render your heart to the girl, but it's never enough. Thank you. 
There's always something pulling you Wander around Down in the old part of town On the streets you used to run Chased by the sun and the moon Now you've found your way there How long will you stay here? Don't look back The pain is faded and cracked, baby You can't hold on when it's gone Tell her a lie Follow that look in her eyes She knows it's over The way that you hold her She can tell Now the days are racing by There's no more time to wonder why Don't look back The pain is faded and cracked, baby For so long, Gentlemen, Kenny McLean. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You know, thank you so much. Looks I love like that song. I love that song, and it, it's uh, mixed time down. I have the chords, Don't yeah. look back. I, I'm sorry, I didn't know the words. I must have been on tour when you wrote that one. <laughs> 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 I, 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 I didn't know your part, I'm sorry. Uh, it's all, it's, it's See, all... we should have practiced on a plane. Oh, we you know what, we, we, it was funny, we said, Alan, let's get together. But you know, the, the thing is, you know, the guy had this terrible, terrible excuse. I mean, Alan, so you had a kid. Right. <laughs> Man, I, I what was, a lame I was excuse. with her through two days of labor. <laughs> two days? <laughs> you were in less of an off. Enough said. <laughs> so, so there I was in, in, in the, uh, in, in the uh, what, what do you call the room when you're having the baby there? That the, uh, it's called the labor and delivery the room. Labor and delivery room. There I was with my guitar. Don't look back, Ellen. <laughs> All right, Matt, bring some sanity back to this. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sanity. Looks like you're going to be playing your keyboard there, Matt. Uh, like yeah. Try it. Now you started off as an, as an organ player, didn't you, first? Pardon? You started off playing organ before you played anything, didn't you? Uh, yeah, actually my first band was the Rockin' Rock Saints. Saints. Yeah, that's right, the Rockin' Saints. And I bought a Furfisa organ, and I, I played with them, and we did a lot of... We were the only band around Cape Breton that had a, an organ sound. It wasn't a, really an organ. Uh, well, sort of a Furfisa organ, but we were doing a lot of animals and blues stuff then. Yeah, yeah. We were the only guys that had an organ. 
But then I got away from it there. I used to play, lug this big Hammond organ around and two Leslie's. And that's why I got away from it. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> if you've ever carried one up and down steps or something, you know, a big mm -hmm. B3. My, I got With, before you. roadies, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and hip, yeah. Alan never carried any Hammond organs. No, I got to tell you, man. No, I never carried it, but I did carry some equipment in my early days. Oh, I bet you did. Matt, I got to tell you one quick story, though. Um, I was in a band that I had one guy with, it's, it's called a chopped B3, yep. where, where yeah. they took the, uh, the oh, yeah. legs off and chopped then they, you could down. screw the things. And I was in a town, and uh, my, my fiance is here. Tracy, could you plug your ears for a second? <laughs> Wherever you are, honey, darling, little sweet one. Just don't listen to this. So anyways, I was in town, and I met this lovely young girl, and I was invited to stay over. You know, you had the whole week. You know, it was Allison. Allison, it was. And uh, we had this one keyboard player, uh, Barry Hutt, it was his name. He played with uh, uh, whoever. Anyways, those guys. <laughs> so anyways, we had to carry all the, qu the equipment uh, into the van on Saturday night. I said, guys, got a date. It's a sure thing. Can I stay? And they said, okay, as long as you move the, uh, fix up the equipment on Monday at the White Castle and the Danforth. Yep. And there was the, the, uh, the, the B3, and this thing weighs about two tons. Yep, they're heavy. Uh, on the right-hand side, and it's supposed two to be on the left. Two strong guys can carry it, maybe. Yep. So it was on the right-hand side. Excuse and me, the organ or the girl? <laughs> no, I, did, I, I would. Which one was I, I two tons? I zoned out there. I heard a lady in there. Let's had just two leave tons. it at that. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. It was miserable. I had to I had to try and move this BT, and I was like 96 pounds when I was uh, 18 years old. And uh, anyways, I had to tell. That's that why story. they have these little things now. There you, you know. go. And you don't have to carry oh, it. And it sounds just the same. Just add water. Okay, so this song. Well, I, I like. Uh, I'm not a, 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 you know, an accomplished keyboard player or anything, but to sit down with a piano or even an organ, uh, it's a totally different soundscape that comes to you and, and you, you get different. Uh, it feels totally different. So different things come to you, you know, so. Uh, this one here, uh, let me tell you about it. Uh, well, you know, all of us through our lives have probably met people that, you know, were friends of yours when you were kids or going through high school and stuff. And, and then you part, you, you don't see them for a long time. And uh, some people go on to, to do well and, and do all right. And other people struggle, but they get by and they're happy. And then there's those people that you meet later in, in life that uh, they seem to have fallen through the cracks, you know what I mean? And you meet them and you can't, you can't even recognize them. Well, this uh, song is sort of about that. I'll put a little organ-ish kind of sound in there just because you mentioned the organ. B3, baby, B3. And anyway, uh, uh, this is called Peter and Joy. I've changed the names to protect <laughs> the guilty. <laughs> and it's funny, well, about, I'll, I'll, I'll play it and then I'll, I'll, I'll let you figure it out. Okay. And 
sin. Nobody hears him with his face to the snow. It's Christmas down on Water Street. It's 15 below. Christmas down on Water Street with Peter and John. I've always uh, been fascinated by story songs. They always, they appeal to me. And uh, I had a story for that one. I had my idea of what the relationship was between these two characters. And, uh, and I was gonna write another verse to clarify that. And then I played it a couple of times with just the, those verses. And, and it absolutely astounds me how many different versions <laughs> of what people think this is all about and how far off they are <laughs> and about what happens to them. Yeah, yeah. So I said, the hell with it. I'm not, I'm not going to clarify it. <laughs> sometimes I find so it difficult to, to figure it out. Explain a song sometimes. I, I explain yeah. a song to somebody once and it just, they just want to hear it again. They just destroyed oh, what they thought yeah. of it. Exactly. It's so. a whole different idea than what I wrote, you know? Yep. God, that was great, man. That was, that was great. beautiful. That was Thank you. Matt Bingham Absolutely gorgeous. Mr. Wilcox. Yeah, of course. Of course, so, sir. Well, I, was actually, of course. I was actually going to play a wee Scottish song, if that, that was would be good. That'd be good. That, that, That'd be good. That's a good That'd point. I was just wondering. Can I borrow that? that yeah, capo? Capo, yeah. I was just wondering how much uh, your roots do uh, mean to you. Well, as Kenny will attest, one of the reasons I love coming to these coasts is, is because of that old country kind of a feeling, right? Everybody's yes, musical. Yes. and We kept the roots down here. Yeah. Yes. I mean, every Saturday night, Yes. Every Saturday night in my house growing up was a party. And you had to sing. That was it. If you didn't sing, they threw you out. <laughs> and I'll tell you a funny little Scottish <laughs> story, if I may. Uh, there's a big difference between people from Edinburgh and Glasgow. 
and people from Glasgow. <laughs> right. Oh, this is a good story. Uh, it's true. Now, this is a, a rather rude story, though, Alan. And I've heard this before. Can well, you do it in a nice Sean way? Sean Connery, ladies and gentlemen. Sean Connery is from Edinburgh. And Lulu, do you remember Lulu? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Those school good days. Right. Well, Lulu's from Glasgow. And they're on a big famous talk show back home. I was watching it, and it's, it's like the David Letterman, but it's, it's Michael Parkinson. And uh, Sean kept boasting about his sexual prowess ability at, what is he now? He's got to be 96, right? <laughs> <laughs> and all Sean wanted to talk about was how good he was in bed. <laughs> so afterwards, and I have this from good authority, afterwards, Lulu came up to Sean and she said, you know, Sean, it's been a long time since I've been with an older man. <laughs> and I wouldn't mind sort of checking this out. So bang, they're back at, the, at Sean's hotel. So they, they had sex and uh, Lulu says, my God, Sean, that was magnificent. And Sean said, well, if you think that was something, Lulu. <laughs> <laughs> If you let me go to sleep for about half an hour, when I wake up, the shakes will be twice as good. <laughs> he says, but while I'm sleeping, you'll have to hold my package in your left hand <laughs> and course. my golden rod in your right. Penis. So she's thinking, oh my God. So anyway, she caresses the package and she holds a rod and he goes to sleep. And he wakes up in half an hour and the sex is magnificent. And she says, oh, Sean, that was fantastic. Nothing can beat that. He says, well, if you think that was good, Lulu, if you, if you let me go to sleep for about another half an hour, I'll wake up and the sex will be three times as good. But once again, you'll have to hold my package in your left hand and my golden rod in Penis. your right. So she holds him like this and he falls asleep, wakes up. The sex is unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. So they're having a cigarette afterwards. And Lulu says, so Sean, tell me, you know, is it a dream state you go in? Is there some kind of spiritual thing by being held with my hands while you're sleeping that allows you to wake up and do that. He says, no, Lulu, uh, as a matter of fact, holding me has got bugger all to do with the sex. But the last time I slept with anybody from Glasgow, they stole my wallet. <laughs> So I was in bed last night with David Wilcox, and... <laughs> oh. <laughs> My Sorry, wallet's Alan, gone. Go so, ahead, uh, blind side of it. Your wallet's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Just if you don't concert. mind, instead of singing a glass cider song, I'll sing you a wee Scottish song. Love it, love it, absolutely. Oh, flower of Scotland, when will we see you like again that fought and died for your wee bit hill and glen and stood against them heard Edward's army and sent him home say think again the hill are bare and autumn leaves lie thick and still for in a land it is lost now which those so dearly held that stood against them heard Edward's army and sent him homeward Say, think again 
those days are past now and in the past they must remain but we can still rise now and be a nation again that stood against them heard Edward's army and sent him home say think again O oh, flower of Scotland when will we see you likes again that fought and died for your wee tail and glen and stood against them. But it was me and sent him home. Say thank again, everybody, all for love of Scotland. When will we see? That fought and died for Yet we better and glad And stood against me But it was of me And sent him home Say thank again Absolutely wonderful. Thank you. The great talents. Absolutely. The great talents. I'm surrounded by the great talents. <laughs> <laughs> and Ken Tobias now. It's your wee turn, son. Is it my turn, is it? What can you do for us? Like a wee Canadian song from maybe a St. John. A St. John tune. A wee St. John tune. Why not? Cara de Vida. <laughs> <laughs> In a garden of Vida, baby. Not sh I'm not shy, son. I'll just piss up the side of your leg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I have to follow in, in the footsteps of Mr. Alan through my, my friend Alan over here. Uh, Alan and I go way back. Uh, we had a band called Tokyo. And oh, yeah. I had a band called The Deserters. And uh, we used to rehearse next door together at Nick's place on Eglinton Avenue, remember? Yeah, we used to rehearse through the wall. Through the wall. <laughs> it was like, shut the wall. that noise up. Shut you. Yeah. <laughs> no, you shut it. <laughs> it was uh, like it was the walls of this I, thing. I, was, I truly was a fan of the deserters. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I was a very big fan of Tokyo, and then they became Glass Tiger. You know, give it up for Glass Tiger, I tell you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, tried, I tried to join the band, but they wouldn't let me in. But anyways, uh, I'd like to follow in the footsteps of Alan, just for fun, because, you know, it's not all about uh, the fact that we're songwriters. We also have to appreciate a good song, That's which right. Alan did. Yeah. And uh, yeah. um, this song is an old Scottish song. Any Scots folks here this evening? Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, there we go. It's one. Uh, 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 any, uh, Does half uh, Scots work? I mean, uh, pardon? Half Scottish work? <laughs> oh, half Scots is half good. Scots. Half Scots is good. Any, anybody is uh, related to any from the from the old world is good. Any related to the old world folk? Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, this. Does everybody have a wee granny? A wee grandmother? Does everybody have a wee grandmother? Okay. Well, my wee grandmother passed away just recently. I went back to to visit Grandma, who I love and still do love and pray to her and ask for guidance uh, in times of uh, need or, you know, we all have our down times, you know, and I always ask my granny to help me out, you know, and she always seems to help me out. It's funny, you know, we all have guiding angels like uh, uh, Matt was talking about, and I truly, truly believe that... Uh, that, uh, that whether it's an angel or maybe a, a loved one that's looking after you from beyond, I believe my grandmother's there. And uh, I didn't write this song, but I used to sing this to my granny just to, to make her laugh, okay? Oh, yeah, can you show me a granny?
Well, she's no Harry Mary, she's your ma. Oh, she's no Harry Mary, she's your ma. Oh, she's no Harry Mary, though she looks pretty scary. She's no Harry Mary, she's your ma. But you can shove your other granny up a bus right up your kill. You can shove your other granny up a bus. You can shove your other granny, cause she's your daddy's mommy. Oh, you can shove your granny up a bus. Do you can shove your granny up a bus. Do you can shove your granny up a bus. Oh, you can shove your granny, cause she's your mommy's mommy. <laughs> so my opera training. Oh, that was you in the hallway tonight. <laughs> it was. <laughs> no, you can't shove your grandmother off a bus. And as Alan said, we got to take a wee pee break. Please don't leave, okay? <laughs> We'll be right back. Matt Mingerwood, David Wilcox, Alan Frew, Ken Device, and my good friend Brett, who lies to me all the time. <laughs> <Thank you>. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't leave, folks. We just need 10 minutes. There'll be a lineup. <laughs> Here we are. Take your seats, please, and we'll uh, get back to it. Okay, I, I, who knows that tune? What was that tune? All for Alan uh, oh, God, all for Maddie's wedding. wedding. It's okay. I have to say, you know, I have to say that uh, it's always a pleasure coming to St. John. It's a beautiful place and beautiful people. It's like, we, we, well, I live in tr <laughs> Oh, uh, can, could you suck up any more? <laughs> you're well, you're like a hoover. You like had you should, I was going to say. <laughs> the carpet's <laughs> getting cleaned with that mouth. <laughs> Your patter's like water. <laughs> Everybody seated? Uh, relax now, here we go. Well, we're going to get started again with, uh, with Matt Minglewood. I want to ask you, Matt, uh, last time I saw you, like I said, you were standing on tabletops playing your 335, and there was even nobody else there. You were still going. How do you turn the switch off, man? How do you, how do, you do that? Because you've been rocking all your life. What, I drove them all out? No, no, it was over, but nobody told you. I know. Oh, well, it's just music, you know. You have uh, music, playing on stage is, uh, and with a full band, is, uh, there's no uh, feeling like it in the world. It's like is, a, is that the Cape Breton way? I mean, is it, uh, everybody rocks out up there? Uh, well, not everybody, but, you know, but you. in their own way, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've always been, uh, you know, I just, it's, you know, the music made me do that, you know. It's not like I made a conscious decision to, you know, do this or do that. It's yeah, yeah. Like, you're up on stage, you're having fun. And... It done got good to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. I, was looking at, I was looking at some of the pictures on, the, on your website, and, uh, I mean, it looked like the, like the band and it's Southern Rockers. I mean, that's what it kind of looked like to me. I mean, it's well, Southern Rockers. Well, that's the kind of feel the Mingo with band has always had. You know, like Matt, 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 can I say something? I got a bit of a problem here, man. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, got the flyer for the show today, you know. There and, they are. And there's, after Matt, me. there's Matt Mingo with right here. And there's uh, me somewhere. Hang on. Right, right here in the corner. There you now, go. Matt, Matt, what's going on with this? I thought there was a Brotherhood of Man concert here. I got a wee picture like this big. It's, it's the Brotherhood of Matt, actually. Brotherhood of Matt, yeah. And, that's, that's what it is, yeah. <laughs> and then you get Matt Minglewood, you know. 20 bucks. Is, Thank you very much. <laughs> this is, hey, this is Matt Country. Matt Country. <laughs> actually, Matt's a legend all over Canada and, and elsewhere as well. Everybody knows you, Matt. <laughs> well. And love your music. I've been doing this for 40 years. Hopefully to God, somebody knows me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. What do you got, what do you got for us, man? You bang on people's doors long enough, and they're finally going to take a look at you. you know? Yeah, yeah. They remember. 
Uh, this is probably uh, one of the closest things I've ever had to a hit. Anyway, I, I wrote it about growing up uh, in North Sydney. I, I, I was born in Moncton, New Brunswick. Oh, you were, eh? Yeah. All right. Woo! Of good Cape Breton Scottish parents who assure me that I indeed was conceived in Port Hood and Inverness. Either one, Port Hood or Inverness. <laughs> <laughs> I weren't sure, but uh, anyway, uh, I used to go back uh, there with my father when I was a kid, and he'd take me around Christmas time with the. They're after me again. I told you. Yeah. They know I'm here. <laughs> and uh, Christmas time, and he, back then you could. You could drive around with a quart of moonshine and a bunch of beer and go from house to house. You can't do that anymore, but uh, anyway, oh, uh, they'd get me to like, well, get the young fella to sing. They'd drag me along with them and get the young fella to sing. Yeah. about six or seven. And I'd be standing there, my head would come to the top of the table and uh, I'd be, I'd just start singing and I'd get quarters and, well, pennies and nickels and dimes and stuff. And they'd give them to me, well, buy some candy. And it was right about then and there that I realized that uh, I could sing in front of, uh, a bunch of people drinking and get paid for it. <laughs> uh, my fate was sealed right then and there. I wrote this song actually not, it was on an album called uh, uh, Me and the Boys, which I have to tell you my good friend David Wilcox played on. Oh, great. David played on that song, on that album. And uh, on a real, what a night we had there, David, recording that. It was that. fun. That it was, was fun. Yeah. David had one request. I don't want any producers, I don't want anybody but the engineer and the band and, and his road manager. And uh, <laughs> let's just say we got in the right frame of mind to do we that did. song. We cool. did. And we by did. God, we did, David. We did. Amen. Anyway, this song uh, is one that I, I was on, the title song from that album, and actually uh, Charlie Daniels uh, recorded a version of it. and. Uh, his album was called Me and the Boys, too. I had them both out at the same time. It was a good Christmas. The kids had shoes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. And I got uh, royalty checks then. Speaking of royalty checks, yeah, they came in. I got one not long ago that I kept, and I put it on my wall. It was from Columbia House. Oh, it, God, was for seven, it was for 0, 0. 0.75 cents. All right. It cost yeah, them. Yeah. You know, for two oh bucks God. to send it. And, and it had GST on and it, right? It had GST on it. <laughs> Why would they bother? <laughs> anyway, this is called uh, Me and the Boys.
in a 57 Dodge. The boys all checking out a noisy rod. Backyard mechanics, each and every one. Was greasy work, but God it was fun. Yeah. Ma, I have to tell you something, man. You are singing and playing better than ever, man. That's sing, right, you are, man. You sing great. Yes. Yeah, it's all that clean, clean living. <laughs> right, David? Well, <laughs> now. But not too clean. Yeah. Clean, but. <laughs> yeah, don't you have a song or something they said? No, I'd love I to make. Advice? <laughs> I would love to make a David Wilcox request, but I don't want to put you on the spot. Well, as long as, as long as I know it. <laughs> Laying pipe. Riverboat Fantasy. Yes. Uh, it's a must. Good request. Well, only yes. if Such anybody a who feels like a play along, please. Woo! Sitting on a riverboat yeah. and having a party. Me and my Cajun queen. She's turning 21 on the Mississippi River. Heading out of New Orleans The year is 18 A song, I love Thank that you. song. Thank you. It's Brilliant. such a Brilliant. great song. I mean, it's so addictive, isn't it? It just draws you right in. Okay, well, I bet I'll have a good one. <laughs> uh, without sounding like, you know those Junos we were talking about, Kenny? <laughs> The awards, I don't know if you guys know that there's a thing called a Canadian Classic Award. No, have you, have you had one of these? That Riverboat Fantasy's got to be close to one of these things. They give you them, now I kid you not, they give you them after your, after your song has been played 300,000 times. No, it's 100,000 oh, times. Is it 100,000? 100, 100,000 times, yeah. Oh, Christ, okay, well, I've got a shitload coming then, maybe, right? <laughs> No, I'm joking, I'm joking. It's a hundred like thousand. It a thousand times, yeah. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was panicking. But anyway, the, the, when they give you this, it means to me way more than the Junos because it makes you think of, uh, can you shut up over there? Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. Are we, are we, are we like annoying you at the bar? We would be, we would be too loud for you. <laughs> But seriously, you know, the Junos are, you know the Junos, there's a bit of a funny thing goes on. You, you, oh, yeah. But when you get a Canadian Classic Award and you think about all those years that you put in, you know, it, it means something. Absolutely. And uh, I, I got one for Don't Forget Me When I'm Gone. Right, yep. And, and one for Diamond, thank you, and one for Diamond Sun. But now here's my disclaimer. Uh, I've even made myself a wee cheat note here. You guys help me with this because I, uh, I'm not a guitar player, but I definitely don't play guitar and sing these songs, but I better follow him with something <laughs> meaningful. <laughs> when I come home, you telephone and see you're waiting for me. I ask you why. 
That's sort of a southern rock thing, isn't it? Sort of southern. Yeah. Okay. That was good. We're going out later. <laughs> We're going that way. I'm, call me, baby. I'm in, uh, my number five 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 love. <laughs> <laughs> call me anytime. <laughs> yo yo yo. <laughs> so what's up? What do you got? Well, you know what? I I, I can do an original song where you know, like, I got a, I got this group, like songwriters. You know, like, we're all songwriters and we all love great songwriters, you know? Yeah. And uh, I grew up with uh, the Cat Stevens. Any Cat Stevens? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, I got two songs I can do. Now, I, I need, uh, I need uh, audience participation here. I got two songs I can do. I can do Wild World, or I can do Moon This Shadow. is my family, hey? This is my family. This is what I deal with. Okay, okay. Hands up for Wild World. Hands up for Moonshadow. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Moonshadow it is. I can do Wild World later for you. Oh, do you want me to do Wild World? You're going to be my date for the night, so I should do Wild World then. I don't know. I got... 
do both. I don't know. That's, that's kind of like cutting into uh, the master over here, Matt Wengelwood's time. You know, I'm just. Uh, okay, you know what? Because you know what? Well, let's, let's do let's do uh, Wild Girls a bit more up tempo. Oh yeah. <laughs> Now that I lost everything to you, you say you want to start something new, and it's breaking hearts you're leaving, baby I'm grieving, but if you want to leave, take good care, hope you make a lot of nice things to wear, remember there's a lot of bed and beware, all together now, Ooh. Upon a smile. Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. I'll always remember you like a child girl. You know, it's seen a lot of what the world can do, and it's breaking my heart in two. Cause I never want to see you sad, girl. Don't be a bad girl. But if you want to leave, take good care. Hope you make a lot of nice friends out there. Remember there's a lot of bad everywhere. Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. Hard to get by, just upon a smile. Remember you like a child girl all together. La 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 Smile. Nice and loud, one more time. Oh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. I'll always remember you like a child girl. Like a child girl. Kenny McLean. Thank Kenny you. McLean. Excellent. Thank you. Are we done? Is that us? Well, you know what? Oh, that was wonderful. We still have another half an hour to go, so we got another round if we want. Another half an hour? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic. We're playing I, till 11. I really need to hear another song from Matt before we go. Absolutely. I don't know. I need, yeah. I need a beer. Mr. Matt Mengelwood, I got to hear one more. A beer. I want to say, uh, honestly, it's been a great honor, and I think we all feel the same love uh, that's on the stage because it's, uh, it's unbelievable to get all Can these... Can you feel the love tonight? <laughs> <laughs> No, honestly, you know, getting this bunch of guys together is like pulling teeth, I tell you. It's like... <laughs> More brisket. <laughs> are you guys going to so, get a room, okay? Are we going to do this like... We're going to do this like a poker hand. We start at Matt, we end at you. Is that... That's... What's that? Like, it's like dealing cards, Matt. The one more round. Do you want me to do one more round? Yeah, we'll do what do you think, round. folks? One more round? Do one more round. All right. Okay, yeah, that seems good. We're loving it. 
I'm loving it. Oh, that, well, can't you see, is not one of my songs, but... But I guess I, I sort of, actually, it has become one of my songs. I, I would rather do a newer one, but I'll do that one. No, right now, no, right? do I'll something. Do another, I'll do another one. Now, it's not my song, want. but actually, I've become known in this country, at least, for doing it. You've made it yours. And uh, I've made it mine, and uh, yeah. actually, the actual story part in the front of it is mine, so as, as it goes as a whole, I, I, I corrode it. So it's a creative endeavor. But I didn't get any credits. For Don't you hate that? But I did get a, a great compliment from the guy who did write it. His name was Toy Caldwell from Marshall Tucker Band. And he was doing an interview in Calgary. And uh, the guy said, I want to play something for you. And so he played it uh, for the band. And uh, <laughs> Toy said, Jesus Christ, it's better than ours. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I'll, I'll do it for you. And everybody can join in on this, because boys, the chords are so simple that... B-flat minus David, seven, you can flat and fifth? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's C, B-flat, F. C, B-flat, F. C, B-flat, F, and never stray from that. You don't, you're, gonna, you're not going to fool me like this guy over here, no. are you? Fool us like yeah, this guy. Kenny, he's I have ever lied to you. Shooter, uh, he's a straight, straight shooter. Well, uh, he might feel that he should do something different than his daddy did. Farming, fishing, coal mining, working in the steel plant. It's not that he's not proud of his daddy, he is. It's just that he found himself living in the brand new 21st century on the cusp of the millennium. Well, there ain't no money in farming. Fishing's gone, and the coal mining's gone, and the steel plant is gone. And he'd be gone up to the big city somewhere to get a job and make a life. Calgary, Toronto, Edmonton, Vancouver, Fort McMurray, Fort McLeod, Fort St. John, Fort Resolute, Fort Nelson, Fort Saskatchewan, Fort... Somebody help me. Himself a good job, work himself up the corporate ladder, foreman someday, you can never tell. But that still won't help his loneliness. Does a young man like that need to find himself a good woman? Well, it wouldn't be a good woman he'd find because it wouldn't be too long before the job would be gone. And it's dear John, I'm gone. If you gone down to the nearest Canadian National Railway Station trying to buy a train to get home. The passenger train don't even go down there anymore, so he'd find himself at 4 o'clock in the early morning down along the side of the railroad track trying to hitch his only way back. Can't 
you see what that woman been doing to me? Here's the part you sing now. Can't you see? Oh, can't you see? Can't you see? Can't you see? What that woman been doing to me? Whoa! Can't you see? She's such a crazy mama lady. She's gonna do it. Drive me crazy. Can't you see? Gonna take a freight train. Oh, can't you see? Down at the station, Lord. I ain't coming back. Oh, can't you see? Scary stuff, scary stuff. Fantastic, man. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. What a crowd. <laughs> wow, that's scary. <laughs> wow. Right, uh, that was wonderful. That was wonderful. What a rush. I'm glad I don't have to follow that. Yeah, it's very difficult. <laughs> See, it's a bastard, isn't it? Oh, it is, it is. Ah, oh, but you do. <laughs> well. And you can. I used to wear jeans. I mean, oh, Italian yeah. slacks. I had long, shaggy hair. Yeah. It's cut short, slick back. I drank three dollar wine. Now it's cocktails at two. Because downtown came uptown for you. I used to think that Coke came in a bottle or can. Silk underwear it wasn't right on a man. Hush puppies and sneakers. Now it's alligator shoes. Because downtown came Keep uptown up. for you. Well, you told me that you loved me. You said I could be your man. But then you said I had no more style than a rat in a garbage can. So you took me uptown. You made your driver wait. You taught me how to eat snails and caviar on a plate. <laughs> no more sitting in the alley with the boys drinking booze. Because downtown came Keep uptown up. for you. Play it, guy. Me. 
You said I could be your man. But then you said I had no more style than a rat in a garbage can. My manicure is at five. French lesson at six. Oh, don't tell me you can't teach a dog new tricks. I'm going out on the town. My friends are spreading the news. Because downtown came uptown. For you say it with me, please. Oh, we say downtown came uptown for you. I can't hear you. You say downtown came uptown for you. Yeah. David Wilcox, you sound great. Wilcox. Right. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, How about boy. you, Alan? <laughs> <laughs> Alan, you, you poor wee guy. Alan's sitting there after Matt and, and David. I know. And what are you going to do now, son? I've no idea. <laughs> Don't worry, man. There's no competition. I was going to get selfish and play just a wee song for me. <laughs> do Go it. for it. Do it. And yeah. then I thought, no, I've got to pull one out of a hat again. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, it's up to you guys. Uh, I'd, well, I, I would, don't forget the, me when I'm Remember the song gone, I did? Uh, I wrote it in Nashville. I played it when you and I played it together. Uh, All I Ever Wanted. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, Nashville, Tennessee, ladies and gentlemen, is, uh, uh, it, it's, not only is it the, you know, country, capital, the, the planet, there's some brilliant pop writers in That's Nashville. Right. Yeah, absolutely. But what I, what I enjoyed was, uh, they matched me up with some country writers and out came, out came these, uh, country songs with little Paul McCartney, uh, the changes, you know? So, uh... Here's a little song I, I wrote in. I was going to sing Don't Forget Me When I'm Gone, but... Oh, oh, come on! Oh, come on! Oh, man! Oh, do, on. do a wee bit of that, then go into Don't Forget Me. Yeah, Don't Forget Me. We gotta, hear, we gotta hear Don't Forget Me. Come on. Yeah. It's the epitome <laughs> of Alan Fruit and Glass Tiger. Come on. Come on, man. It's a $30 ticket. Come on, let's hear that. Well, it's your, your call, son. <laughs> your call. Call. High diving act. Your well, call. Go. You... <laughs> You take my breath away. Yeah. Oh, 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 love thinks it's here to stay. Still, so much for me to do, and I can't stop loving you. Oh, can this be true? So that's it. So now I want to do my own wee song. All right, so this one's for me. We needed that. We needed that, Alan. Thank you. Okay, so written in, in Nashville, Tennessee, with a Canadian songwriter, by the way. His name is Daryl Burgess. Daryl, yeah. Do you know Daryl? Yeah. Do you guys know Daryl? Yeah. This is called All I Ever Wanted. And all I ever wanted was to drive a fast car with the top rolled down, the summer wind, the golden hair blowing all around. And all I ever wanted was to sing like Elvis. 
to make those records go and that's why I sold my soul to the rock and roll oh but now I wonder if you know I've never let go of you and me I'm still holding on to your memory it's so dark without your light and baby I just did That without you in my life, I die a little every single night. But no matter what I do, I just can't get over missing you. All alone, I have to face the truth that all I ever wanted was to be. Was to live inside a big house With so many rooms One for every time I felt like such a fool Oh, love is cruel I've never let go of you and me I'm still holding on to your memory so dark without your light Oh baby I just didn't realize Oh that without you in my life I'd die a little every single night But no matter what I do I just can't get over missing you All alone I have to face the truth That all I ever wanted Was to be wanted All I ever wanted Was to be wanted And now I drive a fast car I can sing like Elvis I live inside a big house but all I ever wanted was you. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you very much. Wow, great song. Wow, great okay. song. Great I've song. heard that one before. Alan Through. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who's doing it? <laughs> Somebody's doing it. <laughs> I did it. You did it. <laughs> oh, no. You know what's great about that song? is how you tie it all together. It's a very well-crafted song. You know, you tie it yeah. all together at the end and bring it together really well. That's how hit songs are made. That's right. Thank you. That's how I made, right like that. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Excellent. Well, um, I got to tell you this story. I have to change the pace of me a little bit. This, this, this song that I'm going to do now is one of those classics we talked about. And uh, you talk about the power of the song. I... Uh, there are several songs. Thank you. I also want to thank the CBC, uh, CFPC. For me, CFPC has been playing my records forever, and I have to thank you, CFPC. Yeah, right Please, on. don't stop, but thank you so much. I and appreciate our, it. our beloved thank you. promoter, right? Yeah. Jim. And Leah, well, our Jim driver. Carnell. Jim Leah. Carnell. Yeah. Yeah. Got to thank Carnell Jim, well, the promoter. Yeah. Who? Thank you, Tom, right? Uh, Jim, yeah, of course. See Jim Carnell. He's a man that brought us here. That's a wee man that brought us here. Where's Jim? <laughs> Jim, where are you, I'm son? I'm he's stuck in, he's in the park like that now. We're hey. going to finish with one here, but um, that you guys don't even know what it is yet, but you'll, you'll know it. Um, but please, Kenny McLean, ladies and gentlemen. It's all, thank together. you. Kenny McLean. <laughs> Matt Minglewood. <laughs> thank you. David Wilcox. David Wilcox. Alan Wren. Alan Frew. And Brent Mason. We'll thank you very much, this everybody. This is in G, guys. <laughs> I was standing by my window.
Beat that one. That was beautiful, man. Thank you. God bless you all. Thank you so much. St. John Rules, man. I thought, I thought that was song just finished that show off, the show off so well. The circle may not be broken, you know. Can I get this acoustic? All right, well, well listen. Shall we jam or something? I got a song for us, okay? Yeah. Okay, I didn't get to sing the last song because I thought nothing could do better than that. <laughs> But you know, I think we all are, uh, we all uh, come from uh, a certain genre of music, and that's rock and roll. Yeah. So it's key of E. Perfect. 
little Beatles song. I saw her standing there. Yeah. Everybody. Oh, we can't jump no, one no, more. One more, one more. Come one on, more. one more. One more. Oh, we're digging this, baby. Whatever. We're digging this. Hey. Show. <laughs> Give me an E. We're not guilty of premature evacuation tonight, that's for sure. Well. Give me, <laughs> Kenny, give me an E. Are you made of me cry? And you said goodbye. Ain't that a shame? Oh, my tears fell away. Ain't that a shame? You're the one to win. Oh, you broke my heart, and now we're apart. Ain't that a shame? My tears fell away. Ain't that a shame? You're the one to win. Might make a way. Bye. Although I'll cry, ain't that a shame? My tears fell out of rain. Ain't that a shame? The cheap drinking, you're the one to blame.
rock and roll will never die. To St. John, to New Brunswick, God bless y'all. Oh, what a beautiful show. What a nice show that was. Thank you, thank you guys. And by the way, everybody, hopefully they're going to all... Songwriting is done. But nobody knows it was me. <laughs> this is how songwriting is done, ladies and gentlemen. People get together, they start playing like this, or they start working on songs. This is how co-writing is done, right? Yeah. Kind of playing like this. It's wonderful to hear it, eh? Pieces of songs. Ken. You were, you were talking about uh, classic awards. Uh, I myself have five classic awards. Wow. Because I've been long, wow. around long enough. And, uh, and, and, the, and do you agree I, with me? They, mean, they mean so much. I'm so honored by that. I, you know, honestly, before the, before the classic awards came out, before uh, SOCAN was SOCAN, it was the PROCAN award. Right. And uh, we were, the, and myself and uh, Brian Adams and uh, Burton Cummings and Randy Backman were the first 14 people who received it ever in Canada. Wow. And uh, I actually had the honor of getting the first one in my hand. Brilliant. So, I'm very, very proud of that, but at the same time, I agree with you. This is airplay. This is from the people and from... It's, it's yeah, not... you're a kid in the basement, you write a song, That's and right. then it plays a hundred thousand times. And a hundred thousand uh, times. Burton Cummins talked about when he got one for American Woman, which is, if I'm not mistaken, a, a, million, a million times That's in right. the States. Absolutely. A million huge, times. Huge, song. Like, Wow. Give it up for Burton Cummings. Yeah. Oh, Burton Cummings. <laughs> He's a Canadian. Good Canadian, a good good Canadian yeah. boy. Is that right? A million times. Oh. You know, I had another honor. Uh, I have to mention uh, the song we're going to do now. There are two fellows that are from St. John uh, who were in a group called The Bells. And uh, that's Charlie Clark and Michael Way. And, uh, yeah, yeah, right. And, uh, again, I have, to, I have to contact them. I haven't talked to them yet. But uh, uh, back when I was, uh, I was in, in California, actually, and I got a call from... Uh, SOCAN, or I guess at BMI at the time, and they said, uh, did you know that one of your songs was climbing the American billboard charts? And I said, no, what's that? And uh, <laughs> they said the song, Stay A While, which uh, the Bells had recorded of mine, was climbing the charts, and I went, I didn't have any fathom of it, I couldn't catch it, I didn't know quite what that meant. And uh, so they said, uh, so in that case, we can give you some money. And I said, uh, oh, well, he said, how much would you like? I said, well, do you think I could have 300 bucks? <laughs> <laughs> and they said, well, how would you like 3,000 bucks? <laughs> and I, of course, realized then what songwriting, besides just the actual writing of the song, how lucrative it could be if you made money from it. I mean, the money. So they sent me 3,000 bucks down, and I bought myself my first Martin, you know, kind of thing. But uh, I'd like to say that I, I phoned uh, Billboard every every week ahead of time to find out the chart number because it was so exciting. <laughs> so you thing, could ask for another 3000 Just to find another $3,000, yeah, right. US, but what happened, US dollars. Yeah. There were two Canadian songs happening. There was my song and there was G. McClellan's song, Put Your Hand in the Hand. We're climbing the charts like this, neck and neck. And I was so excited. I think, who's going to get the number one, right? Well, he Put got the number one and I got the number hand. seven. But anyway, I'd Excellent. like to do that song for you now. Uh, it's called Stay A While. Ken Tobias, ladies and gentlemen.
She brushes the curls from my eyes Then she drops her roll on the floor Then she reaches for the light on the bureau In the darkness is a pillow once more I'm gonna stay with her a while Sing it with me. How she makes me quiver. How she makes me smile. With all the love I had to give her. Tobias, Thank you very much. That was beautiful, Ken. That is the most beautiful song. You know, honestly, Ken, I know a lot of your songs, but I didn't know you wrote that song, man. I t honestly, you know, if I'd, if I'd known you'd written, that, uh, you'd written that song, I would have slept with you and borne your children. <laughs> I would have done you anything. Wrote it about you. <laughs> that was the most what you say. It's a good good thing you uh, didn't tell him. <laughs> if anybody needs a shag rug done tonight, Kay, I'll just what do you say? Uh, Lonely boy over here. Lonely listen, boy. Listen, I take I take it in the right <laughs> I take it in the right way. <laughs> no, I don't take it in the right way. I, uh, <laughs> just say so that's good. Just call me big boy. <laughs> 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 That's beautiful. Ken Tobias, one more time, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Yes. How you make Thank me you quiver. Much. Thank you. You know, actually, that song, when it first came out in the time period that it was out, they actually banned it on some radio stations because of the how she makes me quiver part. Because a young woman sang it, so it was, how she makes me quiver, you know, sort of thing. Yeah. So I, they said it was sexual, so they never played it. It was so. dirty. It was filthy, it was disgusting, perverted. Disgusting. It was very innocent, though. You, you know, made little... Kenny quiver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ken would quiver when you get the $3,000 check. Yeah. Go, uh... <laughs> <laughs> but I got to tell you something else. You know, we talk about a bit of money that you could make from a song. But uh, when I was uh, making uh, probably the same thing, when I was doing records back in... Uh, you know, like 1969 and so on. 